No, just at the end. Just like case number all 10. All right, we Dr. are ready Sharma. here. Yes, case number 10. Yeah. No, okay. Uh, yeah. While uh, the AK was struggling, we were trying to uh, catch up uh, on this particular case. So you have it, uh, a patient presented with dyspnea on minimal exertion, also a severe mitral regurgitation, uh, has a stress test which showed moderate anterior ischemia, 86-year-old patient, severe MR, flail P2 and being evaluated for mitral clip, right? Yes. Had been made a non-surgical case, so they considered for a, a, with that age, and of course the uh, LV dysfunction, although LV is normal, but with, despite the normal LV, the surgeon uh, felt that this is a good case for mitral clip. So clearly, remember for the mitral clip, for the degenerative, you have to have their uh, note saying that it's a prohibitive or extremely high risk. So this patient basically, uh, from the angiogram point of view, and I, we are at a crossroad where we need your help. Uh, LV is good. This is the right coronary. Can uh, you put you can up, see. we don't see anything except yeah. case number 10 and yeah. your faces. You're not showing it? All right, now we see yeah. it. Good. So basically, the, so far, the right coronary is good. Mega gigantic right coronary, not much disease. And then you go to the left side here, distal left main, about 70 percent angiographically. Cirque has some uh, bend proximal, maybe 30, 50 percent in the OM uh, disease. Uh, but mm. key is the LED diagonal bifurcation. And you can see here, you can see the ghost of the entire LED diagonal from mid to distal with the bifurcation at a second diagonal level, and then the LED. You and don't the think calcium, that left main is severe, Dr. Sharma? Well, no, but angiographically. This is the angiogram. Here. Yeah, well, what do you think? it looks pretty... It looks pretty severe to me. Right? I don't know. Maybe I'm not... Uh, Agreed. No, I mean, yeah. clearly now, only thing is very eccentric. Here, you don't see the left main. Right. Because Here, overlap, you don't see the left main. it's a very main, significant so you've got uh, left both. main, about 70 or you call 80, whatever you want to call, but calcific, moderate calcium. Ectatic, really but, ectatic. Ectatic, but real calcium. You see that there? But real calcium is at the diagonal, second diagonal bifurcation. Yes. And uh, it's a more calcium in the diagonal than in the LED. And I always say that for you to know, <coughs> for calcium will be just uh, take a sine of the vessels before you ad give any dye. And that is what we did. Actually, what we tried to do, uh, same, uh, knowing that people will ask how, whether it's a real uh, calcium, a severe calcium and so. Again, this is the run through wire into the second diagonal and you can see here that the IVAS does not cross. Right. <coughs> now, even at that level, can we show that the, the circular frame? Yeah, the very first at that frame. level, the first one, which first was frame. only circular frame, uh, it's, yeah, a, it's 360 degrees, that. right? So the IVAS now. So that is why the IVAS did not cross with the. Uh, with the but back we don't see plan. the IVAS. Yeah. They're going to show it. You're yeah. trying to show us? There yeah. it is. Okay. So this now is the static image, and then of course we have the pullback. Can you show the pullback now? For rest of the LED and the left main. Now you, this is, yeah, this is we started, and there's a lot of calcium, uh, anywhere from 90 to uh, uh, 270 degree, many times here, full circular calcium, <coughs> and then we'll come to the left main area. Yeah, let's see if that left main is very severe or not, because it's ecstatic. Which is the next one? And you can measure the CSA. Yeah. Yes. No, we'll have the, we did the left main, because remember lengthwise, we have to go back again, go, do, show second, the last second, run now. Second run, the third run by the definition. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, lot so, of calcium, but good lumen in that area of the proximal LED. And now we are going to come back to the left main level. Yeah, this is it. Right there. Go back. Few, yeah, there it is. Clearly very tight. Uh, what the lumen cross-axial area? Came. It doesn't look severely calcified no, 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 there, no. though. The calcium yeah. is in the yeah. in the in the diet. At that particular level. But remember, pre and post. There's more. What is the lumen here? 5.93. Good. So uh, actually, if you play before that, uh, remember the calcium point of view at the adjacent area. See, the, there is tremendous calcium, but not necessarily at that area where the tight. Actually, I felt it was a little ulcerated lesion. But you look at this, it's starting with the calcium, and then of course it becomes the tightest area here. It's a large plaque, positive remodeling, large vessel, and of course that is what we saw in angiogram. So clearly I'll tell you where we need the help here. So with that note, knowing that we could not, we did a rotablation uh, of with a, using a 1.5 bar of the second diagonal. 
which is right here. And uh, wait a minute, we're, show us the show us the angiogram. Now. We're seeing yep. still the IVUS. Go here we go. Here. Yep. So this is here one point one point five. Uh, but we were able to get a fine cross uh, for the so micro 14 actually uh, for the down, change it to uh, rotavire, and then this is a 1.5 bar. Uh, you can see uh, then uh, the left main uh, with the 2 0 bar because 7 French guide we have, and then uh, basically now we are dilated with the 2 uh, put a, the same marble wire which is a stainless steel with the, uh, the micro glide coating uh, hydrophilic at the tip. Uh, and uh, in the LED, post dilated with the 2.5, uh, 20 high pressure, and uh, this is the 312 high pressure into the diagonal. So this is where we are now. So what now, the whole discussion here is, what type of strength is strategy for LED diagonal? I think the left main will be simple, because it's a before the bifurcation, I'll put a 408 millimeter or 12 and post dilate. The whole case is here, that what stent strategy we should use in this particular case, knowing that we don't have a full anatomy of the ostium of the second diagonal. We know that uh, the further down was very tight, which we have taken care with the rotablation and, and a balloon dilatation. We did a balloon of the LED minor dissection. Uh, and now I need uh, help from the panel and yourself that what should be our two stent strategy. Should we put a V stenting? Should we do a culotte? or do a mini crush, various of the option. But I think in this case, you need to bring uh, before the, just adjacent to the first diagonal. See, there is a uh, eccentric lesion about 50, 60%. So I don't think we should leave it alone. So whatever strategy every, anybody advises, I has to involve that LED, mid LED wow. after the first diagonal. Yeah, so yeah. this is a very, uh, very good question because now after rot rotational atherectomy and ballooning, it's looking pretty good, that diagonal. And, yeah, and, and some good. people might say, just go across it and be happy, like a provisional, and, uh, and be happy and just uh, come out and, and, and don't. Because the angulation of that diagonal to that LAD doesn't make it very, very good for... for T stenting for with, sure, uh, or me, uh, even Roxana, we actually talked about it. But only problem is, whatever you do, then uh, the we know rota PTCA alone is not going to be good. Will have a high risk gnosis compared to stent. yeah. So that's the okay. Reason. So the stent. good question: uh, the, who, who wants to go first? Yeah. The, everybody. We need a lot of help Samir. here. Well, I, I I think the size of the diagonal is is uh, large enough that I yep. would go with the V stenting. Okay. V stenting. Yep. Who Next. likes that idea? V stenting over here, John. No, I think it's, I think I would do a, a mini crush on this. Mini crush. Again, I I, uh, I favor the diagonal. That's what I like. I, I would put a put one stent in the ostium of the LED, Jill? and then go from the mid uh, LED into the diagonal. Then. Jill. Uh, third option: one stent only, and the provisional stenting for the diagonal. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, John. John Fox. Yeah, I, w I would tee it. Uh, it looks like an easy one to tee if you tee just it. just do the tee whole it, LAD. Tee it. What other alphabet do we have? <laughs> um, Doctor Doctor Waxman, what should we do? We need a mini crush up there. He wants go, your help. I'll, he I'll, doesn't ever ask for help. I'll go with uh, one stent right now. One a, stent. A, a little provisional. So we have two with one stent, one V, one T. Deepak. All right. So now. Wait one second. Okay. I just want to get everybody, Doctor Sharma. Yeah, yeah, two T's. I, I would. Uh, favor the strategy of stenting the LAD, including that lesion right up to that diag immediately above with provisional stenting of the provisional diag stenting. and accept the fact that there will be you know, a, a higher rate of restenosis. But if the decision were to proceed, well, no. I think any of those yeah. strategies are fine. I, I tend to favor culotting. And, and, and Tejas? Yeah, provisional T for that. Provisional. A lot of provisionals yeah. here. So what are you going to do? All right. You don't have to listen to us. You just ask for help. He you has do what you idea. want to do. So, I mean, we've been absolutely no help to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, that you are my friend. You needed some help here. So, anyway, so what we felt uh, that key is that, as uh, pointed out earlier, that the diagonal is a very big vessel. Very and big. the proximal LED with the, I mean, mid LED. So, we felt that to do, uh, initially, we felt a cool lot. Because, uh, or second is do a mini crush. So this is stent we have. This is the 3020. So would you do the Triton stent yeah. here? 3020. Um, no, I still think with this kind of uh, uh, knowing that there is a clearly no consensus, what I would have done otherwise, I'll put a two stent strategy here. And uh, probably the best one, whether we change it to a mini 
crush the T uh, John problem will be that you'll always miss a little bit of the ostium. So you have to bring it back into the main vessel with a little crush. You can call it a mini T, mini crush, microscopic, uh, you know, uh, we have various uh, terminology we use for those kind. Yeah. Yeah, for the other side. Long, yeah. 28. Yeah, yeah. 3.5. Yeah, 3, yeah, 3, 5. 3, 5. 3.25. 3.25. So this is a 3 0, uh, 3 0, 20, uh, uh, 28. Uh, Zions going into the LED yeah. or not going into the LED? <laughs> Attempting to go to the LED. Okay, looks like that you need to go to the other side. The clapping yes. is done. Let's so. go to the impeller side and come yeah. back to you after yeah. you really exactly. dilate this up well. Yeah. We okay. May I to do pre dilate there a little bit more. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Kinney. Well, we are trying to use the use balloon and we cannot make a turn into the LED. So we need to very angulate it. So now we are going to use a 2.5 new balloon and uh, trying to open that LED first. What else can we do? We did not do the rotablation of that LED. Uh, that is where creating a problem. The question was that should we have done that also? All the calcium is at this it level. It doesn't anyway. look like very much a lot of calcium. Yeah. That's interesting. You're yeah. still doing dilation. Yep. Yeah. It's still pre-dilatation uh, because stents are not making turn. Go up. You think if the stents don't make the turn, like a cutting balloon wouldn't either, right? So. Yeah. So, well, we are thinking that should we use the cutting balloon now? Yeah. Or angiosculpt at least. We had angiosculpt. Or something. Here. Well, that's sort of the poor man's way of determining if your stent's yep. going to get there, right? Yeah, Use exactly. something with a high profile and see if it slides in easily. Yeah. What do you have beside? A new 306 and a used 310. Okay, let's see if this turn is made. See the very angulated turn of that LED there. Yeah, very angulated. 20, negative. And at least the balloons are doing good so far. Uh, you know, you I mean, one thing also you worry about in this calcium is balloon rupture. And I can tell you, anytime balloon rupture, it creates so much dissection. Uh, it's just uh, difficult. So clearly, so far, all our quantum maverick and uh, NCA packs and all those are doing very good. Now, still I feel it resistance. Now, when I'm putting a balloon into the diagonal, nothing is happening. They're going very easy. Here we are still having a, a problem. Many times you go back and forth. So it sounds like even a cutting balloon wouldn't go. Or yeah. maybe angiosculpt is a little bit better profile if you want to try. No? Like a 2.5 angiosculpt? Or no? Yeah, no. I that's think it, it's fine. ready Let's to take the stent now. Huh? You think? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. the I the look, the balloon go. isn't going. I'm still look. getting a lot of resistance here. Sure. But this is a low profile balloon now, and it's in. Yeah. You want to try the stand now? We have the stand ready. Yep. I, I don't think it's going to go, but... It will go. Mm. Uh, Let's see. Do you have any affection for the chocolate balloon? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes It'll we used to use it. Negative. The chocolate balloon is the other question here. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We used to use quite a bit of chocolate balloon, but we then uh, felt uh, that clearly that, you know, it's a good... If you are thinking about a stand alone, uh, the balloon alone strategy. And once you're really using for the debulking, it just did not give us that satisfactory result. So although we still have it, uh, we can use it. We have the 2.5 chocolate. Okay. Yeah, sometimes yeah, when you change right the now stand, we have the, it uh, flex storm. Right? What do you have? Dr. Sharma, we have 12 minutes before we go to our yes, talks. Used one. And you still have another case. Okay. Yep. So how are we doing this? Okay, so it looks like that you are ready for the, your 315 Yeah, lecture, can right? we go to the other case? Uh, no, the other case is not ready. I think best would be that you start your lectures. Yeah. And uh, this case will be playing on the side and then we'll come after the lectures are done. That's perfect. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much, Dr. Right, Sharma. We'll continue, Wonderful. Thank sure you. We're watching you. On the side. We're watching you on the side. Thank yes. you.